Hello, what's up everybody? It's Cam. Welcome to your abs day. Today we'll be starting with a warm-up. We go for your upper abs, your lower abs, your obliques, and we end with a final stabilizer and your hold. We'll be doing this for 30 seconds at a time. The only time we'll be taking rest is in between sets. Let's do this. Let's start with your warm-up. We're gonna get into a quadruple position. Have your knees right underneath your hips, your wrists, your elbows, and your shoulders are all aligned. Spine is nice and neutral. We are gonna get into those hip rotations. So you move it all the way out, strengthening those wrists, activating those wrists, and making sure that the whole body is getting warm as well. Your core is nice and tight here and you are just rotating those hips all the way out to one side, breathing here. You stay here for 30 seconds, and when you're comfortable already, and when you are at that halfway mark, you can go ahead and move over to the other side, breathing here. Warming up that core, warming up those wrists as well, you guys, breathing here. All right, when you're ready, go ahead and get into that quadruple position one more time. We go for your bird dogs. We go for the alternating arm and alternating leg. We bring it up and we bring it in. Everything is nice and tight. We are contracting at the core and making sure that the hips are squared down to the ground. Breathing. Everything is nice and controlled here. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. A few more. We got three, two, one. Back into those hip rotations. Move all the way out. This time, circles are a little bit bigger. Just getting started with our workout. Easing into it rather than rushing into it. We are just warming up, making that mind-body connection. One more time. All good. When you're ready, go over to the other side. Strengthening those wrists and making sure that we are really rotating those hips while we are tightening up that core and activating that core as we are gonna be using our core this whole time. Last three seconds and one. All right, we get into your bird dogs one more time. Make sure you are squaring those hips and you are in that quadruple position, go ahead and bring that left arm up and that right leg up. Opposite arm, opposite leg, contracting that core, making sure that everything is nice and controlled. Hips are squared down to the mat. Breathing here. Extend all the way up, shooting all the way back as well. You got, you got about four seconds here. You got three, two, squeezing that last rep and you rest it out for about a minute, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. Rest it out for a minute, and we are gonna go for your upper abs this time. We got two sets, 30 seconds at a time. We rest for 30 seconds in between your sets, all right? So when you are ready, go ahead and find your spots on the ground. You may lay down. We go for two exercises. First one, we go for your heel touches. Next up, we go for your toe touches up here, all right? Working on those upper abs. Here we go. You got three, two, one, 30 seconds. Breathing. Side to side and making sure that you are crunching up so that your upper abs are activated. Almost there. Almost, a few more. Breathing, we got three, two, one. Get into that L position with your toes up to the sky, 30 seconds. Go ahead and touch your toes. Breathing, upper abs, crunching it up. Feeling that burn. A few more seconds here. We got five, four, three, two, 
One, rest it out for 30 seconds. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. You do that one more time, working on those upper abs. Go ahead and stretch it out. If at any point during the class you need to stretch, go ahead, do that while you are resting. All right, second set coming up, 30 seconds at a time. We rest for 30 seconds as well. Here we go. You got three, two, one. Go ahead, heel touches. Make sure that you are touching those heels as you are extending to the right and the left and your upper abs are nice and tight, shoulders lifted off the ground, breathing here. All right, almost there. You got five, four, three, two, one. Legs come up, toe touches. Almost there. Breathing, working on those upper abs. Whew, feeling so good. Almost, you guys. You got five, four, three, two, last one. Rest it out, recover. All right, you got 30 seconds to breathe. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the mouth. Next up, we're gonna be working on your lower abs. We got your heel drops and we also got your single leg drops, all right? On your back, right here. Resting it out for 30 seconds and we go for 30 seconds at a time. Here we go. Three, two, one. Get your legs up in tabletop position. You just drop the heel one at a time, working on your lower abs right here. If you want an extra challenge, go ahead and bring both feet down together at the same time. Keeping that lower back on the ground, forcing you to really use those lower abs and contract that lower ab. Breathing here. Almost there. Yes. You got five, four, three, Two, one, come up. We go for your single leg drops, one at a time. Again, if you wanna add an extra challenge, you may use both legs and bring them down to the ground as you keep your lower back connected to the ground, all right? So it looks like this, bring it down and come up. It requires a little bit more effort on your half. Ready, you got three, two, one. Last one, rest it out for 30 seconds, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. We got one more set of those lower abs. I hope you're breathing and I hope you are really working those lower abs. You're going deep in there. Here we go, you got about 15 seconds to keep resting. Go ahead and lay down. Second set, coming up, knees up into a tabletop position. Make sure the shins are parallel to the ground. We go for your heel drops. Here we go, three, two, one. Drop it down to the ground. Contracting that lower ab and making sure we are breathing this whole time. You may extend that leg also if you wanna add an extra challenge. Another extra challenge. If you wanna go both, at the same time, please do so. You got about 10 seconds here. Breathing here. All right. When you are ready, go ahead and bring your legs up to the sky. We go for your single leg drops. 30 seconds here. Breathing. Inhaling and exhaling. Whoo! Starting to feel that burn. Working those lower abs. You got about 10 seconds to go, you guys. If you wanna add, go ahead and bring both down at the same time. Bring it back up. Working those lower abs. Whoo. And up. Good. And up. Last one. And up. You rest it out for 30 seconds, breathing here. We work on your obliques next. Again, we have two rounds, 30 seconds at a time. We go for your Russian twist and your mountain climbers, all right? So Russian twist, it looks like this. You get into a seated position. You may bring your legs up. 
as high as you can and we just twist right here all right working on those obliques for your mountain climbers get onto a plank position bring your knee to the opposite elbow right here keep resting it out almost there here we go three two one we work for 30 seconds let's do this if you want to add a weight go ahead and do so if you want to just tap and go as slow as you can go ahead and do so almost there 15 seconds to go yes firing up those obliques 10 seconds to go you got four three two one get into that plank position we go for your mountain climbers working those obliques you guys breathing inhale exhale let's go yes you got 10 seconds three two one rest it out you got 30 seconds to rest you guys inhaling through the nose exhaling through the mouth really feeling those obliques fired up when you're ready get back into that seated position you bring the legs up we go for one more set of this oblique twist with your Russian twist resting it out you got 15 seconds to go how are we doing here we go you got three you got two you got one let's do this 30 seconds go ahead and touch each side making sure that you are really getting that full range of motion breathing almost there yes Whew. fired up push it push it come on almost about five seconds four three two one get into that plank position we go for mountain climbers one side at a time we twist twist it twist it almost keep going yes you got about 10 seconds here let's go you got five four three two one oh my gosh obliques are on fire you guys done with your mountain climbers done with those russian twists we go to your final holds all right we're gonna go for your isometric v hold and we go for your elbow plank 15 seconds at a time breathing all right when you're ready find your spot we go for an isometric v hold it looks like this let me show you first Seat, sit on the ground have your feet up and you just hold all right next up we go for your elbow plank get in to that plank position with your elbows down on the ground hands in front of you no need to clasp them you come up make sure your spine is nice and long shoulders are down and you breathe all right we go for 15 seconds at a time two sets no rest all right here we go inhaling whoo exhaling feeling that burn here we go three two one go ahead and get into that isometric v hold for 15 seconds hold it you got three two one get into that elbow plank almost there we are almost finishing strong together breathing here yes got three two one get into that isometric v hold one more time 15 seconds hold it spine is nice and long shoulders are down last three two one get into that plank one last time all the way down to the ground we hold it stay here breathing you got five four three two and one rest it out wow you guys oh my goodness that was a great core and abs section we did your upper abs your lower abs we worked on those obliques and we ended with your static holds. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Go ahead and stand at the edge of your mat. We're just gonna stretch it out for a little bit. Give me three deep inhales and exhales before we begin. Inhale all the way up. 
Exhale all the way down. Inhale all the way up. Exhale all the way down. Inhale all the way up. Exhale all the way down. Bring one hand over to one side of the room. Stretch out that torso. Bring it over to the other side. And when you're ready, get into that deep plank position. And you bring the legs up and back, stretching out the hamstrings, stretching out that upper back and that core. In downward facing dog right here. All right. When you are ready, you may go ahead and lift one leg up, open it up to one side, feeling that stretch in the core and bring it back down. Bring that leg up, drop the knee, drop the foot, open up to one side, opening up that core. And when you're ready, bring it back. Get back into child's pose, rest a little bit here. You got about five seconds. All right, when you're ready, get on your feet, face the front, bounce it out. And you slowly roll up, one vertebrae at a time. Take one last deep inhale all the way up and bring it down to your chest. Thank you guys so much for joining me. That was your abs day. Again, we worked on that upper body. Sorry, we worked on that upper abs, those lower abs, those obliques. And we finished off with those stabilizers just to make sure everything is nice and intact. Thank you guys so much for joining me. See you again next time.